Hello lovely stamping friends. Welcome to Paper Crafting Playdate. I'm Robin Arbrecht with Really Robin Stamps and you are watching today, maybe live, maybe on the replay later, but today for me it's Friday, June 25th, 2021 and my heart is so grateful that you are willing to spend some time with me today playing with paper. So we're going to get right started today. Let's turn the camera around and get that situated. All right, we'll see how that looks. All right, let me find you on Facebook. There you are, yay, all right. All right, so I said today we're going to have kind of a product spotlight today, and um, that's kind of exciting because who doesn't love a new product? And the product that we're going to spotlight is Soft Pastels. So this is a product that kind of feels like an old friend because we used to have um, pastels, chalks, and we had them in just about every color um, in different versions over the years. And they were a real favorite um, because they just gave you so many different um, uh, techniques and things to use and to do with your stamping. So it's kind of fun that these have come back into the coloring fold, I guess you would say. So let me, hold on, I need to turn on the comments here. Okay, all right, so let's take a look at these. So there are eight pastels and they come in a stick format. And the colors that you get are Night of Navy, Coastal Cabana, Granny Apple Green, Mossy Meadow, Gorgeous Grape, Poppy Parade, Mango Melody, and Daffodil Delight. So you've got a lot of um, the brights in here and then kind of this really pretty um, darker green to use. So they coordinate with um, all of, you know, all of the brights for sure, but um, you'll see as we use them, you can use them with a lot of different colors too. So um, the other thing that I really like about this new um, packaging is that they have this nice little foam case um, insert into the little box so that they rest in there and, you know, you could take these with you and they're not going to fall out. So that's kind of a, a great little I think addition to this um, product line. So some basic supplies um, to have handy when you're using the pastels would be um, cotton swabs, cotton balls, um, paper towel. You would need something to um, wipe your hands on like baby wipes. Um, also, you can use the baby wipes. The silicone mat's kind of nice. Um, take your pick tool or some scissors and the Versamark ink pad. So these are kind of just some basic supplies that you can use and do a bunch of different techniques with. So let's get started with our first card. So we are going to just start super, super basic with a very basic direct to paper um, kind of technique. So I'm going to take this stitched rectangle in basic white, and I'm just gonna create a quick plaid background. So I'm gonna start with the Coastal Cabana, and I'm gonna just make some lines. So one of the things I think that is a, a, a great feature of these new pastels is that you can pick them up and use them really easy, kind of freestyle. Um, by just using them, you know, and being able to hold them like a pencil. The fact that they are kind of square, uh, it makes it really easy to hold. So now I'm going to bring in Granny Apple Green, and I'm going to put some green this way. Whoop. 
whoops <laughs> well that'll be fun so it's art right there you go all right let's take some mango melody and I'm just gonna put a little thin line in between there like that Oh, there you go. So just kind of a handmade plaid. All right, so direct to paper. I'm just using them right on the paper. And now I'm gonna take uh, my finger, but you could also use a cotton ball for this. And I'm just going to kind of rub them into the cardstock. Like that. I'll do the mango melody. You've got, you know, more than one finger here so you can use different fingers. So now we've just got kind of this soft little plaid background. Let me grab a baby wipe. For some reason, I could, oh, there you are. There's the comments. All right, hey Margie, hey Lynn, hey Judy. Yay, there you are. All right, so this little bit of extra um, powder here, I'm gonna save over on my silicone sheet. We'll use that later. So here's our plaid. So let's make this into a card. I'm going to bring in our matching colors. We've got Coastal Cabana and Granny Apple Green. I'm gonna bring in the Biggest Wish stamp set. And we're going to stamp right on top of our plaid. So we'll stamp birthday in Coastal Cabana. And we'll stamp happy in Granny Apple Green, just like that. All right, so far so good, right? So let's mount this on a piece of Granny Apple Green. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna ask Margie and Lynn and Judy, because um, I'm sure you probably still have some of the um, Stampin' Pastels from when Stampin' Up! carried them several years ago and perhaps you haven't gotten them out lately um, to use. So let me know if you have used them. And then I'm gonna encourage you to get them back out because I'm gonna show you some fun techniques today that I think will inspire you to get them back out. I'm so happy that we have them back in the catalog. You know, if you have the old set, you don't really need the new set. Um, but it's only $9, so it's not like a huge investment if you just want to have them in kind of this different format where you can use them as sticks. So I'm going to mount this on a piece of Coastal Cabana, and let's just stamp. I'm going to also bring in the Flowers of Friendship stamp set. So I want to use these cute little flowers to make a border. So we're going to stamp all the way around our card here. I found out if you um, want to make a border, they spaced the number of flowers here just perfectly. So if you stamp the long side first, uh, and I'm talking about the long side of your um, card front, and you go across like that, then when you go to this side, it fits perfectly in between those corners and you've got just this perfect little flower border, which I love. Margie says she has the old square set with all the colors. Yep, I still have that. Judy has them. Yep. All right, you guys are going to have to get them back out because I think this is going to inspire you to try something, um, try an old friend on. It's kind of like, you know, you're at the mall and you meet an old friend and you're like, oh, we should hang out again. Right? That's what we're doing. We're hanging out with an old friend today. Um, I have a lot of new stampers that are kind of watching my videos and this is a great... Um, very inexpensive way to do a lot of different techniques and coloring with stamping. So it's um, a really fun, um, just add on to your stamping repertoire, I think. 
All right, let's put this together and then I'm going to show you another direct to paper technique. So I just picked up those chalks and I made the plaid. So now we're gonna just make an embellishment for this and I'm gonna bring in the flowers. And I'm gonna stamp them in Coastal Cabana like that. And then we'll punch them out. All right, so again, you can just take your finger and apply these with your finger if that drives you crazy and you don't wanna do that, then just use a Q-tip. Just direct to paper with a Q-tip. I guess that's not really direct to paper, but you could just pick this up and you could also color like this. So I feel like this is kind of cool because um, the other pastels we had, it was kind of hard and you couldn't do this. You couldn't pick them up, they were too soft. So let's just color this in really lightly and we'll have a cute little embellishment for the front of our card. Hi, Elaine, how are you doing? You donated yours to the grandkids, yep. Yeah, I think you, you should try, the, I mean, that's the thing. I think the price point on these are such that that's a really low investment um, to try them. All right, so we're gonna add these to our card like that. Yeah, Lynn, chalks are chalks, right? So um, you can do tech, these techniques with any kind of chalks that you have. Look how cute that is, so simple. All right, let's embellish it, and then we will move on to our next technique. I'm gonna use some of these to bring out that mango melody. Come on, there we go. All right, so there is our first card where we just did basic direct to paper with our chalk pastels. What do you guys think about that? Here's another one I did. I did a full sheet plaid and then I just stamped um, with all the colors. Added some sequins, super, super simple. All right, next technique. Let me put that away. All right, we're going to do some more direct paper, but we're going to do a little bit of embossing first with an embossing folder. All right, look at these great colors. We've got Granny Apple Green and Knight of Navy and some white. So one of the things that you can do is use an embossing folder and then rub the chalks on the embossing folder. So I'm gonna use this, it's um, part of a set of two embossing folders um, that are called thanks and hello. One of them has all thank yous in different languages and one of them has all hellos in different languages. So it's really, really sweet. Um, so I'm gonna bring in our little Mr. Cut Boss guy. We're gonna need the light embossing folder Stick that in there. So I'm just embossing on a piece of Knight of Navy. There you go. All right, so now we're gonna take our Granny Apple Green and we're just gonna really lightly, the flat edge is super nice because you can do a lot of stuff with it. So I'm just gonna rub that over this dark cardstock and then all those are gonna just pop 
right out like that. And then you just want to kind of knock the excess off. You can give it a little blow. Again, I'm just going to put my little collected crumbs over here because we can pick those up for a different technique. So let's put this card together. So I'm going to put it on Granny Apple Green. And I went ahead and I used one of the borders dies, these basic border dies I'm in love with. Um, and I used this zigzag one. And so I went ahead and ran that through a tiny little strip of basic white, and I'm gonna add that on my card. So this is gonna go across, but I wanted to do, I wanted to play a little bit more. So I'm gonna cut this to size. So I need it to be four and one fourth. Like that. Hello, Mindy. Oh, it's so great to see your name pop up. How are you doing? All right, so this is gonna go across my card like this, and then I'm gonna take these little zigzags and put those behind. So let's attach those. We'll use some adhesive on the top and the bottom. And then I'm just gonna lay this right on top. Like that. And then we'll put this one on the bottom. So Mindy, we have been discussing our um, pastels and we are all weighing in on whether we still have the old sets or not. So curious as to whether you have your sets. All right, so there is that part of the card. So now, this is for the inside. There we go. All right, so I'm going to bring in um, this stamp set, which I just got. And, oh my goodness, it's so much fun. There is a um, set of dies that coordinate, and these are quite amazing. So let me just show you how these stamp because they're really, really cool. So I'm gonna bring in Knight of Navy and I'm gonna bring back in the Granny Apple Green. You're gonna freak out, these are so cool. All right, so I'm just gonna take the little um, pot, the, the little handles on it. I don't know if you can see this, but these are distinctive images, and so they are already etched such that there's different opacities on the rubber, so when you, when you ink it and stamp it, you're going to get variation of color that is just gorgeous. Look at this. How cool is this? I love that. All right, so now let me show you the little snake plant topper. We're going to do that in Granny Apple Green. And look at that. You've got automatic shading with just one ink and stamp. All right, so I already cut those out. So you don't have to watch me do that. And we're gonna pop those up on the front of the card. Oh my goodness. I got things flying all over. Probably should have had something else besides coffee today, right? <laughs> it's Friday. All right, so I'm gonna put thank you down here. And then we'll pop up this little plant. Just like that. Isn't that cute? I love that. Now, the chalks um, will still rub off, right? Because they're chalk. So one of the things you can do when you are using this, um, using them, is you can just bring in some hairspray. 
um, if you've got some hairspray and just give it a spray and that will um, that will <clears throat> it'll allow it to hold pretty well you'll still some of it will still be able to rub off um, you could get a fixative from the craft store too um, that works as well um, but I always have hairspray so that's kind of convenient for me so I gotta show you one more thing here we got to stamp one more plant because these are just so much fun. So let's bring in this large leaf, leafed plant. I don't know what it is. And then let's bring in this cute little pot right here. So we're going to do just some simple masking. Oh, uh, look at that. Oh my goodness. I love this stamp set. This is amazing. I created a little mask so we could do some masking. So I just stamped this image already on a post-it note and then cut it out. And then we'll do, this will just allow me to tuck those stems um, and stamp them right on top of my post-it note and it'll look like they are in the pot. I don't have to worry about lining it up. Oh, that is so fun. So this card says, thank you. And then we'll put in another greeting that says I think I'm going to have to have a class with this um, stamp set because it's just really cool so we'll put a little inside greeting there okay sorry I digressed a little bit by playing with this stamp set but it is the first time that I've been playing with it so I'm pretty excited about it and <laughs> literally just stamped it for the first time this morning and thought it was so cool all right so there is our second direct to paper where you are just rubbing the chalks over an embossing folder so let me show you another version so i did this one this is the macrame um, embossing folder which actually kind of is part of this plant suite and i did the green on top of the black with a little bit of yellow and i thought that looked very pretty now i haven't um I haven't made it into a card yet. I ran out of time, but I will. And then I want to show you the pretty flowers embossing folder. So I just took a piece of basic white and I embossed it with the pretty flowers. And I want to show you how you can um, also do direct to paper, but with different colors. So again, you can take your um, finger and rub that you can pick up the um the pastel and you can just really gently rub it on top of the flowers or you can use a dauber so i'm going to just bring in a sponge dauber here or you could use a cotton ball that's why i think these are great for beginners because you don't have to have all the tools necessarily um, to do some really cool techniques isn't this cool? Now I'm applying this poppy parade really, really lightly and it looks like pink. So you've got, even though, you know, there's no pink in this, you've got some variation. And then I could take the, um, the mossy meadow and do the leaves. You see that? All right. So let me show you the finished card, which I mounted on blushing bride. Just very simple, light and, and, um, pastel colored with the soft pastels. So direct to paper, whether you're using your fingers, um, a Q-tip, a cotton ball. Okay, so there's, so we've got card number two, card number three. Let me keep them out so I don't lose them. Okay, so let's move on. We've got some more things that we can do with these soft pastels. Of course, one of the great things that you can do is just color with them. So I'm going to bring in one of the images from the hand penned petals, this one right here. And we're going to do just like some line art coloring. So because the pastels look very, the um, chalk pastels look very light, 
when you color with them for the most part. You can stamp in black, black ink, but it looks kind of nice if you use a little bit of a more neutral, um, lighter neutral color. So I'm using Sahara Sand, but like um, Smoky Slate, Crumb Cake, Gray Granite, those would be great colors to stamp in your outline image before you color it. So now I'm gonna just focus on the Q-tips and I'm going to use the yellows. So I'm gonna pick up the color this way and I'm going to spread it around. Now again, you can just pick these up. If you've got a larger spot like this and you can just kind of get that color right on there and then you can take the cotton ball and spread it around, or Q-tip. So that is the Daffodil Delight. So let's go in with the Bumblebee, or Bumblebee, Mango, that's what this is. And I'm just putting some shading kind of at the bottom of where these little leaves are coming out of the flower. Like that, so there's our yellow flower. And then let's do, let's do our leaves in green. We'll do the lighter green as kind of a base and then we'll put the mossy meadow green into shade. All right, so you can also use a blender pen. So these are so versatile. So with a blender pen, you can just pick up the color. So I'm gonna pick up some of this um, darker mossy meadow so that I can get a nice stem here. Like that, and then I'll also use it to shade. So I'm gonna go on these little vein lines in the leaf and just shade like that. Now the blender pen kind of adds a little bit of a different effect to the pastels because of the liquid that's in the blender pen. It kind of seals or it, um, it allows the pastels to kind of go into the cardstock a little bit. So that's kind of nice. It, it seals it a little bit more. It looks a little bit more like watercoloring when you use it, but it's still nice and light. All right, so let's take the Poppy Parade. And we'll color that flower in that color. So if I want to shade then where these little lines are, I can just pick up with the blender pen and add some darker spots like that. All right, so that is just simple basic coloring with multiple different tools to do that. So let me show you the card because all I did was cut that out and then I put it on a nice um, Sahara sand kind of full background. I used a piece of the designer series paper and I used an embossing folder um, with the same color. So very, very simple. So let me show you what I did with the ribbon. So one of the things that you can do with um, the chalks as you can color. So I just took the um, chalk and I just put it right onto my ribbon. And I just did one side because two-sided ribbon is um, it, like if you had white on one side and yellow on the other. So you can do that and then you can also kind of burnish it into the ribbon and then it won't so you can use it to color your ribbon. So I just made a little quick bow and made it the color to match my card. Come here, there we go. You get the picture. So that's something else you can do. You can create a little colored ribbon. All right, so that is coloring. Mm -hmm. So I just, I don't, I need to order some more daubers because I only had five for
free ones, but I'm just going to um, keep these in a little baggie along with where I store my pastels so that I have my daubers that go with all the colors. So I'll be ready to go when I pull these out the next time. All right. Can you guys handle another technique? I got two. I got two more techniques. There's so many things you can do with these. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, so we're gonna do some purple here and navy. So I already cut that out with the one of the um, scalloped contour dies. And then I cut out a piece of white that's going to go on top of that. All right, so this time we're gonna do another direct to paper technique. I'm gonna flip this over. And I'm going to use the gorgeous grape. And I'm just going to take the um, chalk stick and I'm gonna rub it back and forth on the cardstock. And then I'm going to take the Knight of Navy. I'm gonna add some of that in there. Aren't those pretty together? Again, I'm gonna save some of this. All right, so you could leave it like that. That's very pretty. Um, I'm gonna bring in a baby wipe. And I'm just gonna take and really lightly blend these together. So when you add some liquid, like the blender pen or the baby wipe, they kind of melt into it and create this amazing background. Isn't that cool? So that's within, so let's say, oh, I want that to have a little bit more blue in it. You can just go back, add a little more. Put some more purple on there. Cute, right? And let's bring in our gorgeous grape stamp set. I'm sorry, ink pad. Wow, this week was rough, guys. I had a really busy week. How, how have you guys been? Um, I feel like I'm a little brain dead today. All right, so we're just gonna create a little bit of um, a greeting on the background there. So I'm gonna just kinda stack these. Now you gotta be careful with this one. You wanna make sure the O is showing because we don't want any like accidental negative, negative messages in our cards, right? All right, so I got that little background and let's put this on our Scalloped. Piece. Like that. And we'll just go ahead and put that on the card front. So I'm just pulling in the same colors um, as the pastels to kind of reinforce those colors. All right, so what I wanna to do to finish this card and show you um, the pop and pastels technique is I'm gonna cut out one of these tags And then I'm also gonna cut out a butterfly. Maybe, there we go. So I brought in some of the Knight of Navy designer series paper. So let's bring our little guy back here. Little cut boss. Oh my goodness, I got tape everywhere.
Okay, here we go. So I want a white tag, and then I also want to do a little butterfly. Let's see if we can get them on there both at the same time. I already cut out some of the reinforcements for my tag out of the same piece, so I would coordinate. got a tag and then we've got a butterfly let's go ahead and grab that butterfly and get all those pieces out all right so we're gonna do pop and pastels this is an old old technique and it brings in the Versamark ink pad. So if you haven't done embossing or used your Versamark, get that out too. And I'm gonna stamp the word friend in Versamark. And then I'm going to take the dauber and I'm just gonna get that Kind of started there and I'm just going to dab that right on top of the Versamark so it's going to pick up the chalk where the Versamark is. Now you can also just bring this in because it's a nice little stick and you can just go right on top of that like that and then you can rub it in with your dauber and you can keep going until you get it kind of as dark as you want it to be. So now we've got that to match our card. And then we'll attach the butterfly. And then we're gonna put a little reinforcement on because we might as well coordinate, right? there. And then let's add some ribbon. This is the gorgeous grape sheer ribbon. So pretty. One of the things you'll notice when you, um, if and when you get the pastels, is that they have kind of on the outside, initially, there's a little bit of a coating um, and how they pressed, you know, pressed the chalk together to make the stick. So one of the things that you can do is either with scissors um, or the spatula end of your take your pick tool, just kind of release that coating on one of the sides and then you'll have the nice soft pastel chalk on the inside to use. It'll be a little bit easier to grab it with your dauber. All right, so let's finish this little guy. We're gonna pop him up there. All right, so this is popping pastels with your Versamark. You can do lots of fun little things with that add that. So I'm making this card for one of my new um, one of my new team members joined the butterfly friends and so I thought that'd be kind of cute to make that look like butterfly friends. Boy I've got just a hot mess over here. Okay so there is Poppin Pastels. That is our fourth card I believe and I have one more thing to show you. This is a quick one. This is another background technique called marbled pastel background. 
and you need some water. And you need basic white cardstock. So what we're going to do is we're going to take my scissors, I guess, because I can't find my tape and pick tool. I don't know what I did with it. Here it is. So I'm going to use this. It's a little bit easier than the scissors and then my scissors don't get dirty. So what you do is you just drop um, little powdered uh, pastels into water and when you put your, they kind of, half of them float on the surface, half of them go down to the bottom and then um, we put your paper in there and it creates this great marbled effect. So we're going to do some of the blue Knight of Navy, and then we'll do Coastal Cabana. So, so you can see it's just floating on the surface there. And then the bigger, the bigger chunks end up sinking to the bottom. So you waste a little bit with this technique, but it's kind of fun. And then you stick your paper right on the water. It lifts up onto the paper magically. There's probably some scientific reason, but I don't know what it is. And look how that just goes right into the paper. So pretty. Let me grab my tissue here. And I'm just going to blot on the edges like that. Look how cool that is. It looks like marble. Very simple. Now, if you've got different chalks or you've got the old ones, you can do the same technique, same technique with them. Just gonna blot that. All right, so I'll show you the finished card, but basically I just dried this with my heat tool and then I used it to stamp um, some of the greetings from this create with friends stamp set right on top so you know every time you do it, it's going to look different because of the way the the powders fall i just repeated my um, greeting in the background there to make a background super simple simple card and that is marbled pastel background super easy right all right let's bring in our cards so you can see them all one more time. So I didn't end up using this. I meant to use this when I was doing the pop and pastels, but I like to save these uh, little things while I got these out and playing with them because you can dump these into your water or you can pick them up with your um, daubers or your Q-tip or whatever so that you can um, do a pop and pastels or a coloring technique with them. All right, let's review here. You guys are gonna have to tell me which one's your favorite. Oh my goodness. All right, so we have direct to paper with um, making a plaid background. We have direct to paper with an embossing folder. And then we are coloring. We've colored with our fingers, we've colored with a blender pen, we've colored with a cotton swab. And then we've got our background that was direct to paper with a baby wipe, pop and pastels. And then we've got our marbled background with the pastels. So this isn't even all the ideas there are with these soft pastels. There are lots more things um, that you can do with them so much fun to use. So if you've got these, you just pull them back out and you start diving in and using them. Um, yeah, you're gonna get a little messy, but you're gonna enjoy that um, art experience. And I think it'll make you feel nice and crafty and relaxed. Margie has a question. Do you know how many you can dip until you, yeah, you can only dip one, one at a time because um, it picks up all, everything that's floating on the surface. So um, that's a great question. Yeah, when you, so you can see, let me bring in my water here. 
So half of it stayed on top of the water and then the bigger chunks or I don't know I don't know what the you know what the pastels are made out of maybe they have a couple different ingredients to them those sunk to the bottom so you can really only dip it one time and then you can just add some more to the top. Carol loves the embossing folder one. This one or this one? Which one do you like? Thanks, Judy. I appreciate that. I'm super excited about them. I will have close-up pictures of all of these and a technique sheet um, on my blog probably tomorrow. <laughs> I'm not going to promise it today. Um, I may need a nap today. Who knows? Um, but I'll get that for you so you can have something to download and some pictures to look at and some directions to follow. But I encourage you to get out your um, soft pastels or add these to your wish list for next time. But thank you so much for watching today. As always, happy stamping. Bye-bye.